welcome back to my channel. I am the Electrophile Latina. And today I have the honor to be here with Laura Belmar. She is co-founder of Integral Electrics, an online retailer that specializes in cargo e-bikes. So hello, Laura. Welcome to the channel. Hi, it's so nice to be here. Oh my gosh, this is this is so exciting. So Laura, can you tell our viewers like how did this relationship start between you and I? Like, why are we here today? Sure. Well, I mean, I reached out to you because I, you know, am always looking for other women in the industry. And um, I came across your channel and just loved the content. I think you were doing something on, you know, how to take care of batteries in winter. Um, and it was very timely and very helpful. And I was like, wow, this is, you know, someone I need to get to know. So. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Because uh, can you please tell us a little bit about the the, the type of e-bikes that, that you carry and, and why? Yeah, so at Integral Electrics, we focus on cargo bikes. So designing um, for people to use their bikes to either carry their gear, their kids, their dogs, or um, even a partner or a friend. Um, mm -hmm. So all our bikes, whether it's an electric trike or an electric bike um, are rated to carry over 400 pounds um, so that you, you know, can really take um, everything that makes your life work with you. Awesome, awesome. And I know um, that from what I've learned about your company is that they're designed for women? Yeah, I, I like to call it female first design, which doesn't okay. mean that Design exclusively for females, but it means that when we're designing a bike, we think about first how is a, a woman or a shorter rider gonna feel on this vehicle, and you know that's a little bit the way like the technology industry works. You know, we design for mobile phones first because they're the smallest screen, you know, and then designing mm -hmm. something for a big desktop is easy you can just sort of scale it up and so that's mm -hmm. how we think about our bikes like let's make sure that this is going to work for someone who um maybe isn't that experienced maybe doesn't consider themselves you know strong or fit maybe isn't tall and if it works well for them then we can add you know a set of features like adjustable handlebars and mm -hmm. a seat dropper that make it really easy to scale up to um to taller riders. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, and because like in, in, in the marketplace, right? Like the majority of e-bikes are made by men or designed by men for men, right? Like they're like, we see this huge 26 inch by four inch tires. Yeah, you know, I went to the major industry tra trade show um, last year and I didn't meet a single other female on the, you know, brand and design side. Um, well, and so unfortunately there, you know, there are too few of us at the table. Um, and, you know, I know that that will change over time. Um, and I definitely feel welcome in the industry. Um, but you know, there, it's just a lot of, you know, catching up that needs to happen. Um, and I, you know, I think the important thing to keep in mind, like for me, um, we caught the, you know, cargo e-bike bug in the pandemic. My, you know, husband bought one and we had so much fun with the kids as long as he was, you know, on the cargo bike with them. They wouldn't ride with me. Um, we uh -huh. felt her, you know, I thought, oh, I, I need to get stronger. I need to practice more, you know that I was the problem. And right. And then you know, in talking with all of my other neighbors and friends who also, you know, experimented with e-bikes for their kids around that time, you know, every woman I talked to had some kind of story about um having a hard time managing their cargo bike. And that was when I started to put together, okay, I'm not the problem and they're not the problem. This is just a you know a bike design problem and we can solve that awesome 
oh my gosh i love that and that's so you launched this company around the pandemic then yeah a couple years after so like okay i bought and sold several cargo e-bikes trying to find one that would work well you know um when we were in this phase of thinking well you know maybe it's this bike or maybe it's me or you know what if we try another one and um those those were expensive mistakes fortunately we were usually able you know to sell them um on craigslist or marketplace or something like that and get some of our money out but yeah it was yeah. it was like a multi-year process of you know trying to navigate all of that and then eventually mm -hmm. um meeting my co-founder who wanted to get into the ebay e-bike space and i said well this is where we should go because this is a big problem for a lot of people and you know especially now that cargo e-bikes are really starting to replace cars for a lot of households and so um, you know it's not okay for for those vehicles to only serve a fraction of riders they really need to work for everybody and and that's part of the reason you know why we don't just make e-bikes we also make e-trikes because yeah you know, once um you know our e-bikes have a great low center of gravity but our e-trikes also have you know an even more stable feel because you have three points of contact on the ground and um you know you can really get a lot more people out comfortable riding um once they have that additional stability right right like maybe like older people or like people that just don't feel comfortable with balancing a regular two-wheeler right like yeah and also people with three kids or like dogs you yes know, things that are like wiggly or unpredictable you know true, true. Uh, so yeah it can be a function of weight or experience or just like the sheer amount of people and things that you need to move right 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 and then that's how you so guys this is a leading segment into like their first e-bike which is an a cargo electric trike and it's called the rome can you tell us a little bit about that your model yeah so the rome is sort of a, a classic dutch style cargo bike you'll see a lot of these in europe and they're not very common here uh, although we hope to change that but um there's a big front box that has two rows of seats and so um you can fit up to four little ones or wow. um you know an adult if you want to um and it's set up with seat belts and things like that for for kids um and the front bench is also removable if you have you know say a large dog or um two oh. large dogs so um mm. really a lot of space up there there's storage under the benches and oh wow so we've got two wheels on either side of that box and then um the back wheel is what forms um you know where the battery is located over the back of that back wheel okay yeah i had a, i saw it yesterday for the first time live because uh, guys we just we just got this uh trike to review so it's really exciting something very different to anything i've been reviewing on this channel and and you're right it does look like a classical thing but um i i i don't know much about the specs can, can you tell us more about the specs Sure. So um, this particular model that you've got there, it has a 500 watt motor. Mm -hmm. It has a 14 amp hour battery. And so, you know, it's able to handle most hills. It's not something I would take out with me in, you know, say San Francisco. Right. Uh, but, you know, if it is something that um, as long as you don't have a very steep incline that you need to handle, you're just doing, you know, sort of average size hills, um, that's going to be sufficient. And it is a, a rear hub motor. It's not a mid drive. Um, and so, you know, those are important considerations. We take a lot of um, consult calls and I'm always the first one to tell somebody, you know, don't buy our bike if, if you need to take it in a very steep area this is you know this trike is not going to be um 
the form factor for you. And so, um, you know, we do like to be really clear with people about that, but for, you know, pretty average terrain, um, I live in a hilly area and I, I, it still works great for us. Uh, so that's kind of an important specification. Um, it has six gears and it has about a 25 to 35 mile range. Um, and now you can get a spare battery if you need to go further than that. Um, there's room okay. for that under the seat. Um, and so, yeah, those are a couple considerations. You know, uh, we have a full spec sheet on our um, on our website with Perfect. all the nitty gritty details. Um, the biggest, you know, things that customers ask us about are um, the motor and you know how what the battery life is going to be, mm -hmm. um, and then how much stuff can they fit in the front and what kinds of stuff can they fit up there. Which is why that's where you know I sort of naturally started with. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and then with like the most important parts of the e-bike being the motor and the battery um and so what's the load capacity on this one 440 pounds Ooh, guys that's a lot that's a lot yeah yeah i mean a cargo bike if um you know if you're shopping for a cargo bike um you, you know you should expect to see it rated for something north of 350 pounds at a minimum yes oof yeah, I think this this is gonna serve just about anybody wanting to carry a lot of load. And I was even thinking, I mean, this would be great for like food people delivering food, caterers, even a florist. Mm -hmm. Take the seats out and do that. Like it's it has a lot of utility. Yeah, I mean the bike is very eye catching. You know, it's the true. The very first videos that we um, filmed of the product, you know, it was just me out there with my kids, um, just, you know, trying to, you know, do the best content that we could on a budget. And it, it was so funny that, you know, how people would stop me in the parking lot and they wanted to talk about the bike. And, um, or they, you know, they would yell things at me like, sweet ride or what, you know, whatever. Um, it, it really, you know, for so for someone who has a business, um, it's going to call attention to whatever it is that you're doing. We we actually just sold some to a nonprofit who wanted to raise awareness with, about what they were doing, and they thought, hey, like we can use these in our community um, to let people know about what we're up to. And um, awesome. So yeah. It, it's it's a very eye catching form factor in a good way and you know conversation starter for sure. Exactly, I I can I can see that. I'm so excited. So I don't have kids, but I have two dogs, and I'm definitely gonna be making videos like with them inside and maybe going to the grocery store or yeah I'll yeah come up with ideas. Yeah, I mean, we also see people, you know, if you live in somewhere where like maybe seasonally there's tourism or there's a busy season of some kind, um, it can be, you know, where it just gets crowded and it gets hard to park. Um, mm -hmm. So we, you know, by no means are our only customers, families, we've really seen people gravitate towards this bike for a lot of different reasons and and a lot of people put their uh, you know adult spouse in the front <laughs> that's awesome and it looks comfy <laughs> yes those, those plush seats mm -hmm. yeah yeah and then okay so I'm, i've always been a little leery about trikes because of the tipping factor and uh, and i also saw it doesn't have a regular handlebar it's just like a one piece bar that mm -hmm. you would have to turn like a like a bus, right? Like like that. And right. I can see you like you're like needing like longer arms, right? In order to turn it. Yeah. Because so the the handlebars, we have a um a new version coming out that is gonna allow people to adjust the handlebars even closer to their body. And so um 
but I do think I'm really happy you bring that up because um, the, with a trike, you know, you hear that phrase like, oh, it's just like riding a bicycle. Um, and trikes are not like that. You know, you actually, you don't yeah. want to take your bicycle um, mindset to a trike because they do, okay. they handle so differently. You know, they pretty uh -huh. much have polar opposite stability profiles. So, okay. you know, a trike is really stable at stopping and starting, loading and unloading. Um, and when you're, you know, cruising along at, you know, a fairly low speed, like that vehicle is sort of like a, you know, 12 to 15 miles an hour is kind of like That's what I was sweet spot for that yeah. bike. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, and it's a class two e-bike has a throttle. And okay. so by, you know, US regulations, a class two e-bike that has a throttle can only go up to 20 miles an hour. Correct. And so, um, yeah, versus a bike, a bike is going to be a cargo bike, especially, is going to be a little more tippy at low speeds and when you're loading and unloading it. But, you know, on turns, it's, it's going to feel great. It's going to move with your center of gravity. A trike, on the other hand, on a turn, you have to slow down and move with its center of gravity. And so, you know, I always tell people, slow down to five miles an hour the first time that you take a turn and just, you know, see what that feels like. Um, you want to be cognizant of hills, too, um, because when you're turning and also going downhill, you know, that adds another variable. And so, yeah, starting slow is, is definitely the way to go with trikes. Um, it's really important to build your own rapport with the trike and not treat it like a bike um because it is really different to ride and get used to but once people do sort of get used to it um it's so much fun you know my and if you do have kids kids adore that thing you know um between one one day we were visiting grandparents and um my kids have the option to go in a golf cart or go in the trike and they chose this trike and i was like okay well that is a big compliment because golf carts are pretty fun um and so yeah it's you know kids really love it and there's a rain cover that you can put over that sort of makes it feel like a little tent or a fort for them um oh. if it's a little bit chilly outside or a chance of rain and so yeah it once you get used to the handling it can just be like a really fun magical vehicle oh my gosh i can't wait to try it now <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and guys they also have okay so just to finish out with the roam mm -hmm. um, you guys it's, it's available it's, a, it's in, in stock and ready to order yeah it is in stock we have been working really hard to stock up for spring and nice. uh, you know just reordered all of the best-selling colors there um yeah they're we're shipping them out every day perfect uh, and guys so this evac retails for uh three thousand nine ninety nine if i remember correctly uh, right? 50. Mm -hmm. which is honestly it's an incredible price because uh comparable models they sell for double like you're looking at like in the eight thousand dollar price range how did yeah. you this this price yeah, um, you know, we have close, you know, relationships with our manufacturing partners and, um, you know, we try to be really careful about where we spend money because I know how cost conscious most households are, you know, most folks are on a budget. And so, um, yeah, I think there's always the temptation to, you know, beef up all the specs and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can say that. But not, you know, not all of those improvements in spec and it additions to cost end up really, you know, making people happy. And so we try to just make sure that, um, you know, we, we spend on the features that really make the bike um, work for our customers and really listen to their feedback about what they want, what they don't want. Um, and the thing we hear over and over again is 
that price really matters. And so, um, yeah, while it's tempting, you know, to increase the spec and, and do the best of everything, you know, there's, it's also, I think, important to just, you know, focus on quality and like what, what customers really want. And so we try to strike that balance of quality and affordability. Oh, that's awesome. So it has everything you need and nothing that you don't to reach that, that price and, and it's quality. Yeah. I think on our website so that people can break up the payments into up to 24 months interest-free. Ooh. So most other e-bike brands um, you'll see will use a firm or something similar, but usually up to 12 months interest-free. And so, you know, we pay a little extra to give our customers the option to go up to 24 months interest-free and, you know, wow. that really bring the bike into the budgets of, of a lot more households because over 24 payments, you know, it's, it's not that different than an extra tank of gas or, um, you mm -hmm. know, it just mm -hmm. make it more feasible. Oh, this is great guys. And don't get me wrong. Of course, $4,000 is a lot of money, but if you're comparing it to the price of, 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 of owning a car, I mean, this is a one-time payment, right? And it's just going to go far. Um, no yeah. We talk to a lot of families who, um, you know, who are wanting to replace their car um, with this e-bike for financial reasons. We talk to other families who mm -hmm. want to replace their car for quality of life reasons. Like it's just simply more fun and less stressful. You know, yeah. and then we have customers who, um, really care about the environment and they see this as one of the best ways for them um, to reduce their impact, you know, and for some people it's all of the above, but it, it's really been interesting for me to see like, um, you know, how many problems a cargo bike can solve um, for a household. And um, so whether you're on a budget or not, it can just provide um, such a huge quality of life upgrade. Oh, well, I know that model, but it's not in stock yet, right? It's it's a cargo bike. It's a two-wheeler. It looks really cool. And they're, they're using only the high-quality components at a very reasonable price, too. Can you tell us a little bit about your other cargo bike? Yeah, it, it's a more, you know, popular style in the U.S. market. It's a, it's a long-tail cargo bike, so it is going to be a little bit more nimble if you're living, say, in like a denser urban area. Um, mm -hmm. And it comes with two batteries standard. And yeah. that was a really important feature to me because I had seen with my husband and I, like, we're busy. I'm known to be forgetful. And there would be situations where I would want to go take the e-bike, say, to pick up the kids from school. And then I would get out there and realize, like, the battery was not charged enough for me to go um, do what I wanted to do. And so we ended up not using the bike as much. And mm -hmm. since, you know, having two batteries, that never happens. Like, the other one is on the bike and this one is right here. And, you know, I've got it fully charged. Um, one of the batteries is always fully charged at all times when you can, um, you know, so it, it's a really nice way to, um, people think about two batteries in terms of range, but I think about two batteries more in terms of just convenience and making sure that the bike, is always, you know, has power and is ready to go. That makes sense. It, it takes a lot less planning, right? Like the night before I need to charge it or wake up hours earlier to, to charge the one battery or something, right? It can be. Yeah, because yeah, it takes, you know, several hours to charge. I know, you know, technifying um, up to and including the full bike, um, which. Do I start doing that? Yeah, we're, we're pursuing UL certification right now. It's a lengthy and expensive process, but, um, you know, we think it's really important that people have that peace of mind. And um, like I said, safety is one of our values. So whatever we can do to 
um, provide that. I mean, people are putting their precious cargo on our bikes. Um, also why we, you know, ship them assembled. Like you don't have to put the front wheel on, um, that can damage the disc brake. And, um, so mm -hmm. we don't want people to have to do that. You know, we want the bike, um, to be assembled and for people to be able to, you know, trust that, um, that we have that, you know, taken care of. And, you know, there, whenever you allow people to assemble their own bikes, you can sell the bikes for cheaper. Um, but then mm -hmm. open up the possibility of, you know, what if somebody, do, you know, misses a, a page on the instructions and, um, you know, with cargo bikes, the stakes are just higher. You know, it's a it's a bigger vehicle. It's carrying more stuff, um, and so we try to do everything that we can um, to limit risk and and keep our customers safe. Oh, this is huge! This is huge. Is there something else that you would like to tell my viewers today? No, I would just encourage them um, if they have questions to go. To integralelectrics.com we have um, live experts on our site who Oof. are trained in our products and can chat with them about um, the features and help them find bikes we also do phone consults you know there's a um, there's a lot of different ways to get in touch with us we love answering customer questions and like I said if if you know we hear how you're going to use the bike and uh -huh. um, you know we know that the spec of our product isn't going to be right for your specific use case we're we're going to tell you that we will point you in the direction of of the bike that's going to be best for you so um mm -hmm. e-bikes are a really big purchase and it's overwhelming to research and shop for them so yep. um yeah i just encourage people to to reach out to us and if we can help answer questions and guide them towards a bike that will work for their use case we are happy to do that American based customer support so they're gonna be like in your time zones right it's not like dealing with like overseas different time zone or <laughs> takes them like days to get back to you if if even and i've even heard like horror stories of like e-bike companies having warranties but then they don't honor them right i don't know if you've heard about this so well, one of the good things about us shipping our bikes assembled is we're able to, you know, to fully test the vehicle before we package it up into, into the box. So, um, you know, we Great. have part of what makes, you know, our customer service work is that we ship the bikes assembled, that we have good quality control procedures and, you know, the best place to to catch issues is at the factory, not with the customer. And so we're really focused Great. behind the scenes on on stopping things there so that by, mm -hmm. um, you know, by the time the bike gets to the customer, it's, it's in great shape. Oh my God, this makes me so excited. Like, this is like almost like unheard of. Like, <laughs> There's yeah, just quality control is lacking so much in the in the industry. Like they generally get shipped from well, either overseas or like, you know, like at warehouses in California, but where they've been like sitting there for God knows how long, and then there's no quality control before being shipped. So this is just music to my ears, what you just said. Yeah, I mean the benefits of um the benefits of buying from you know, a, a company that has a reputation for, for good customer service. I, I think people underestimate how much that that can matter. Um, so yeah, that's definitely an important thing to look at. And, um, you know, we're growing our base of reviews every day to make sure that, you know, even though we're a younger company, people understand that um, we'll take good care of them. This is great. And it just makes me so happy and so excited guys that to be working i am so glad i feel so fortunate that laura found my channel and now we're get we're gonna be working together i'm gonna be reviewing her models 
and uh, the sky's the limit. We're gonna see where we can go from from here, and be just be expecting a full review of the of the Rome trike cargo e bike soon soon ish. Um, I also have other e bikes to review before, but yeah, this 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 is coming. I'll be keeping you all posted and. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is this is it. Yeah, but thank you so much for a wonderful conversation. It was great chatting with you, and we love following your videos as they come out. Oh, and I really appreciate the support. So, guys, thank you so much for coming along to another one of my videos. Laura, do you do you know the little phrase that I say before I I say bye bye to my viewers so we can say it together? <laughs> oh, I I've heard you say it at the end, but I can't remember what it is. Okay, okay. If the, I, I caught you on the spot so so i always say whatever you're doing happy riding do you want to say it together one sure. two, three. Okay. yeah one two three whatever, whatever you're, you're doing happy riding, riding. <laughs> let's try it again okay okay let's do it okay. one right. two three whatever, whatever you're doing, you're doing Happy riding. Riding. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.